everyone and welcome to Local Doctors On Call. I'm Candace McElia. I'm sure you've heard of LASIK. What you may not know is how LASIK can change your life for the better and how so many of us can benefit from this amazing corrective and painless vision procedure. Joining us tonight is Dr. Kathleen McCabe of the Eye Associates, a practice providing high quality routine medical, surgical, and optical eye care, as well as cosmetic, dermatology, and hearing services for all ages. Dr. McCabe has performed more than 17,000 LASIK procedures. She was named a Laser Vision Top 100 Surgeon and included in the Premier Surgeon 250 list as a leading innovator in premium IOL cataract surgery. In just a moment, we'll be opening the phone lines to take your calls and questions live. But first, let's introduce you to our other guest. Garrett Brown is a patient of Dr. McCabe's and joins us to share his LASIK experience. First though, we're going to start with the basics. Dr. McCabe, welcome to the show, both of you. Oh, thank you for having us. Thank you. So tell us first, what is LASIK? Well, LASIK is a method of reshaping the surface of the eye, which is the cornea. That's the clear window in the front of the eye. And that allows us to take what is your prescription in your glasses, and by that reshaping, allow you to be free from your glasses. Okay, great. And now you actually performed LASIK on Garrett. Yes. It was about four weeks ago? Correct, yes. So mm -hmm. Garrett, you're a medical student. You're about to graduate from FSU. Right. Tell me, how did you find the Eye Associates and Dr. McCabe? Okay, well, it was, it was uh, tough. Um, I start residency soon, I'm about to graduate. And I knew that uh, my eyes were very important to me. And so I actually shopped all around the state um, with our uh, model, the way it works, we've got faculty all over the state, and I wanted to stay with FSU faculty. I'm a little biased, <laughs> and uh, and actually, uh, Dr. McCabe was the most highly recommended um, internally from all our people, and I figured who better to know than other doctors. Wow, that's great. So obviously, Garrett. Okay. okay. <laughs> no pressure. Right. No pressure. So very high recommendation there from, yeah. med from a medical student. So obviously Garrett was a good um, candidate for LASIK, but who makes the perfect candidate for this procedure? Well, most patients today are good candidates for LASIK as long as you have a healthy eye and are not very, very nearsighted or very, very farsighted. Okay. So originally when LASIK was first approved, we could do nearsighted patients. And then it took some time before we were able to have the treatments for farsighted patients and for astigmatism. Mm -hmm. But today we can really treat almost any glasses prescription as long as you have a nice healthy eye. Oh wow. So what was your vision like, Garrett? What was your um, vision before you got LASIK? Okay. Before it was a uh, 2200. Okay. So it wasn't the worst by far. But, uh, but now it's just, it's unreal. Huge difference, night and day. And really? just so you know, 2200 is legally blind though. So oh, without wow. his glasses on, <laughs> hopefully you were never driving. Of course not. Because <laughs> you, were, you were legally blind without your glasses. Oh my gosh. So tell me about the procedure. How was it for people who are thinking about going through it? What, how would you describe? Okay. It almost wasn't even a procedure. Okay. It, it was that easy. Um, it was uh, painless. Um, the prep was just nothing compared to everything else that I'm used to. Um, everything throughout the whole day uh, was just as easy as could be. Um, it's about a 10 minute procedure and then the downtime is uh, the worst part. You have to take a mandatory six hour nap afterwards. <laughs> I felt like I was in kindergarten again. <laughs> That's what you think at your age, but for me, it'd be like, this is a great treat. Right, I'm thinking, that's great. I'm gonna do it just yeah. for that. <laughs> so now, are, are there any people who would not be a good candidate for LASIK? There are. There are you know, a few different um, things that we look for very carefully. Number one is if your prescription's too high okay. for the treatment. We wanna look at the thickness of the cornea and make sure that it's not abnormally thinned. And then we look at the shape of the cornea because some patients have an abnormal shape Hmm. that if we thin the cornea further, could push them into even more abnormality. Hmm. So we look very carefully. There are a number of tests that need to be performed to make sure the patient is a good candidate. Okay, so obviously if there are people out there wondering if they're a good candidate or not, they're more than welcome to stop by the Eye Associates and come in and find out, right? And actually we have free screenings. So that initial evaluation, I think you came in that way initially. Okay. We have a chance to talk, we look at the prescription, we look at some critical data and see if it looks like the patient will be a good candidate or not. 
Okay, so would they make an appointment or just stop in? What's the best way? There is a, an appointment that we actually make for the patient, so we have time set aside to talk, and all they have to do is call our number. Okay. Which is 792, eight, uh, sorry, 2020. Okay. Or we actually have a 1-800 number, and right. maybe we can put that up. So yeah. that's 866-865-2020. Right. And uh, that will get them to somebody who can help with an appointment. Okay, that's great. So our lines are open now. If anyone wants to call in for a question for Dr. McKay, we encourage you to call in at 361-4675 and we'll take your question live on the air. Um, one more question for you when it comes to LASIK. I had heard some different reports about people that, who have astigmatism. Would those people be good candidates for this procedure? Yeah, almost everybody who has astigmatism is a good candidate for LASIK these days. There are some very high degrees of astigmatism or something that we call irregular astigmatism, okay. which is steepness that's only on one side of the center of the cornea rather than both, okay. um, who are not good candidates. But today, most patients uh, would be a good candidate for their for LASIK correction of astigmatism as well. Okay, very good. And Garrett, tell me now, um, so how's your vision now? going from legally blind before. It's amazing. Really? It really is. Now it's uh, down to 2015, which is better than 2020. Wow. It's like Superman. Mm -hmm. That's great, yeah. <laughs> A so change. Has it, I mean, how has it changed how you kind of function daily? Not to sound cheesy, but when you don't have good vision, you don't realize just how, actually how little eye contact you make, and especially with your patients, huh. just because you can't really tell if they're looking at you and you don't want to be staring at somebody. Mm -hmm. And so now it's even helped just walking down the hall, just saying hi to patients, even uh, when I'm just walking down the hall. It's, it's changed a lot, actually. Wow. Now, I don't want to make your fellow medical students jealous, but I know that you were just in Hawaii, and were there some things that you did in Hawaii that were easier without contact lenses or glasses? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I made sure that I waited until my mandatory uh, uh, safety time was over, and so that until I could go into the water afterwards, after having the procedure, but I'm so glad you said that. Too. I did. I did. <laughs> that is my of course, of course. Um, but uh, I went snorkeling, and everything was just gorgeous. Um, not to mention it was Hawaii, but everything was gorgeous. Um, wow. Not having to hassle with the contacts, everything like that. It was great. That's really great. neat. Well, we have our first question. We have Jill on the line. Jill, welcome. You're on the air. Thank you. I was wondering if there was an age range for LASIK. Mm -hmm. um, there isn't really an age range um, in that, you know, if you're older or younger, there's something wrong with the cornea or something that is, uh, that prohibits you from having it. But the important factors are you need to have a stable prescription in your glasses. That usually happens sometime in our early 20s. And at some point, there becomes a time in our 40s where you need to wear reading glasses. And at that point, LASIK cannot give you near vision as well as distance vision, at least not in both eyes. And at that point, we talk about what some of the alternatives might be. And one of those alternatives might be actually something called a clear lens replacement, where we can take your natural lens out and put an implant in instead. So once you reach the mid 40s, we start talking about alternatives. And if LASIK still is what you desire, um, age is not really a prohibitive factor for that. So yeah. other considerations as you get a little older, that's all. That's a great question. I had actually heard that once you hit 40, you pretty much need glasses across the board. <laughs> is that true? Well, for reading, <laughs> okay. it is true. Okay. And that has to do with changes within the lens in the eye. Okay. So as our natural lens changes and ages, it gets stiffer and it doesn't change shape as easily. And that's why we lose our reading vision. Gotcha. And so after about that age, if a patient really just wants to get rid of their reading glasses, LASIK may not be the best pr procedure for that. Okay. All right, great. Well, we have another caller on the phone. We have Maria. You have a question for Dr. McCabe? Yes, thank you for accepting my call. Sure. I wanted to know that um, I had laser surgery in the past and cataracts, and now uh, I'm wondering, because I know I have astigmatism, and now I'm diabetic, would I be a candidate for an evaluation? I'm so glad you called with that question because a lot of patients wonder if they've had cataract surgery and they still need to wear glasses because they may have some astigmatism, whether or not they would be a candidate for LASIK. And it sounds like that's the kind of thing you're asking. 
And the truth is that yes, you would be a candidate most likely, given the fact that your cornea is healthy and all the other things I mentioned are okay. But um, just having had cataract surgery does not prohibit you from having LASIK. Uh, and being a diabetic doesn't prohibit you from that either, but we would wanna make sure your blood sugar is under good control and that your eye is otherwise healthy. So sometimes we can do LASIK after cataract surgery and help you to be free of your distance glasses. Um, even in cases of somebody who's had surgery before. Great. So in those cases where LASIK may not be the right solution for someone, there's something else called PRK? What there is, that? is. That's a surface treatment. So with LASIK, what we do is make a very thin layer of cornea called a flap mm -hmm. that we lift up and then do the reshaping of the cornea with a laser underneath that flap. And then we put that back down and it heals very quickly. In some cases, we don't really want to thin the cornea any more than we need to, and so we may do that treatment from the top down mm. without making a flap. That preserves some of the corneal thickness, and it takes maybe a little bit longer to heal, mm -hmm. but the overall results are the same with LASIK and PRK. Okay, that's great. Now, are the, all these procedures normally covered by insurance? Unfortunately. Insurance doesn't care if you have to wear glasses, usually. Okay. Um, and so, no, it's usually not um, okay. covered. It's considered cosmetic. So it is a, an elective out-of-pocket procedure. But the good news is that we do work with a company called Care Credit that does healthcare financing. Okay. A lot of patients have already taken advantage of that for other things in their life or even veterinary care. And that allows patients to have uh, interest-free payments over time for their LASIK. Great. All right, so Garrett, talking a little bit more about leading up to the procedure, was it something that you were, because I would imagine some people are thinking about doing it, but they may be hesitant, they're worried about it. Were you hesitant at all leading up to it? I was at first, but not because Dr. McKay was sitting here. If you're thinking about it, absolutely do it. It totally changed my life. Really? really did. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, great. We have another caller on the line. Hi, Lynn. You're on the, on the show with Dr. McCabe. Yes, I have a problem with brightness. Uh, I have to use, I'm 79, I have to use uh, uh, sunglasses in the morning uh, that are really dark. And uh, it improves by about 11, 12 o'clock, but it's just super bright in the morning uh, and affects my eyes. Lynn, there are a lot of different reasons you may have that sensitivity to light. Um, it sounds like something that gets better as the day goes on. Of course, it's always best to kind of take a look and see what might be going on, but it is a pretty common thing as time goes on for patients to develop some dry eye that worsens overnight, especially if your eyes are just a little bit open as you're sleeping and you have a ceiling fan on or things like that. So we could take a look, see if that might be the issue, and then there are treatments that can be very effective um, to prohibit you from having that symptom in the morning. So that's one possibility. There are quite a few others, and uh, we'll take a look and see what we can do to help you. Great. Now remember, if you're thinking about having LASIK, if you have questions for Dr. McCabe and you maybe didn't get a chance to call in, we encourage you to check out the website, siteforlife.com. That's site, the number four, life.com, or give them a call at 1-866-865-2020. And we still have a lot more time left in our show, so please remember to give us a call and have your question answered live on the show. The number is 361-4675. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with Dr. McCabe. Welcome back to Local Doctors on Call. We're here with Dr. McCabe from the Eye Associates and her patient, Garrett, to talk about LASIK. So before the break, we were talking all about who's a great candidate for LASIK. Now, um, we didn't talk about, though, can you have both eyes done the same day? Yes, in fact, LASIK is one of the procedures, unlike cataract surgery, where we do do both eyes on the same day. And the reason for that is because patients might be very mismatched for a period of time if they were corrected in one eye and very nearsighted still in the other eye. Mm. And the risk of infection or complication is so low that we don't really worry about that as being a complicating factor. So do you just do one right after the other? Mm-hmm. Okay. We do. Yeah. yeah. And so is that something that you had? Did you have both eyes done? or both, did Both at the same time. You did. Mm -hmm. And how was that? 
it, it was instant. Okay. I could almost instantly tell a huge difference. So right after the procedure. Right after the procedure. Yeah. Not so after the nap. <laughs> <laughs> well, really, the nap is very helpful. Okay. And the longer you sleep after your procedure, the more that flap has a chance to seal down and the better your vision will be. Oh. Um, but we really do do one eye at a time. It, they're not simultaneous, okay. although it seems very quick. And we did your right eye first and then your left eye. And, and really, I think, I hope, that by the time we move on to the left eye, it's a little bit less concerning because now you know what it what it was that was going to happen with the right, right. eye. So absolutely, yeah. Hopefully, absolutely. it's kind of downhill after that. <laughs> so, how soon after you have it can you go back to work? So, when did you go back to doing things? The very next day. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. really. As long as you're not like a underwater, you know, scuba diver or something. You know, most patients can really go back to work the next day. Okay. Almost everybody has driving vision the next day. Um, even with the highest prescriptions. So really you can do your normal activities. Probably the biggest thing to worry about the next day is getting your drops in, right? Right. right. And Garrett showed me he has his drops in his pocket still. I did see that. So <laughs> I appreciate that. He's a very good patient. I'm learning brownie points. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the after procedure. You have to do drops. How often do you have to do that? How long do you have to do it? Well, the biggest thing after LASIK is that you may have some temporary dry eye. Okay. And so since you may not feel like your eyes are dry, we really stay on top of that with a lot of lubricating drops. So I like to have my patients use them very frequently, really every couple hours mm -hmm. while you're awake after your surgery for the first few months, first two months really. And then after that, we go to four times a day. Okay. But it's more preventative and to ensure that good healing takes place and that we reach endpoints like 2015 that Garrett has. Yeah, that's amazing. So. And you had mentioned earlier that before you got LASIK, you had very dry eyes. Right, absolutely. How does that compare to after? Uh, well, the drops help. Okay. I mean, that's the reason why. Um, but my main reason, even though I was 2200 and legally blind, my main reason was I had a, a very bad dry eye. Uh, and uh, that was actually the reason why I got LASIK and so my dry eye from before um, to now with no contacts in at all is completely different yeah. completely different absolutely mm -hmm. there are a lot of patients that I see like Garrett that have contact lenses we're really successful with them for a period of time but mm -hmm. develop dry eye for one reason or another and uh, they just can't tolerate their contact lenses any longer but they like that freedom from glasses and how that allows you to do some of the things you normally do more easily in your life. And so a solution for that, you know, that's one of the reasons patients seek LASIK surgery, uh, to help them with that problem of tolerating their contact lenses. Um, another instance is patients who really may not have used their contact lenses the way they should have and have developed recurrent infections in the eye. Okay. And for those patients, when they come for LASIK procedures, I think we're almost doing them a medical service as well as just helping them get out of their glasses because that risk of permanent loss of vision with infections in the eye um, can be really, truly quite serious. Right. You had mentioned earlier um, when a caller had called in about clear lens replacement. Tell me a little bit more about that. What exactly is it and who would benefit from that? So when I have a patient come in for a LASIK consultation and they're over the age of needing bifocals, so they're somewhere in their later 40s or above, um, they may not have even considered the fact that LASIK won't be able to keep them out of their reading glasses. And we talk about that because that's true with LASIK. You know, Garrett's still going to need reading glasses when he reaches his 40s. Um, and so will everybody that's had LASIK. And if they're already in that age and part of their goal was to be free from them, there are ways of doing that. We can actually take their natural lens out of the eye and put an implant in that has distance, intermediate, and near focus in that implant. If we do that, they'll never develop a cataract, never have to go through that period of time where their vision is decreasing because the cataract is forming, and have good stable vision really for the foreseeable future unless they develop some other eye issue or eye problem. So it's That's really amazing. A, it really is a wonderful solution. Um, at this time. How does that compare to, say, cataract surgery? It's essentially cataract surgery. It is. Cataracts are your natural lens that has become cloudy. Okay. And what we do is we take that out um, before it develops a cataract. But it's the nice thing about cataract surgery today, too, is that we can actually treat that as a refractive procedure. 
it's a way of patients becoming more independent of their glasses. So they had a problem where they wore glasses, their vision got worse, they're coming in because they hope we can help them get back to where they were with their glasses before, but today we can actually make them better than they may have ever been before without glasses. So it's pretty exciting stuff. That's great. So for someone who is considering um, possibly getting LASIK or even cataract surgery, we, we, you mentioned earlier, but it's probably good to say this again, you offer free screenings at the Eye Associates. We do. So you don't he have to know if LASIK is the right thing or clear lens replacement. Um, because if you come in for a free screening, we'll talk about all of those things and figure out what's best for you. Okay, that sounds great. We will be back in just a minute with Dr. McCabe taking your questions live about LASIK or any other eye-related issue. Don't forget to give us a call at 361-64675. Let me just say that one more time. It's 361-4675, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Local Doctors on Call. We're here with Dr. McKay from the Eye Associates talking about LASIK and also we were just talking about cataract surgery. Yes. So at the Eye Associates, you actually have free seminars that talk about cataract surgery weekly, correct? We do, we do. And this Thursday I'll be doing the seminar. It's at four o'clock. It's in our Bradenton office, which is on Point West Boulevard, right next to Blake Hospital. Okay. And what we do is it's really a pretty, um, informal format. We'll talk about all the options, some of the special lenses that I mentioned. Uh, we'll also talk about uh, what to expect on the day of surgery and we show a video so you actually get to see what surgery is like. So it's really patients love it and they come with their family members and uh, we really get to have a back and forth and all your questions answered. So we welcome anybody who would like to participate in that. That's great, and do people have to sign up for it in advance or just show up? Um, they do call, so we have a limited number so that we can make sure that everybody's questions are answered and that it remains that kind of informal format. So the best thing to do is just call the office. Okay, or and the we, 800 number? That Would 800 that okay? number, yep, right. we can go ahead and maybe show that number again, sure. and, um, and that way patients can call in. It's 866-865-2020. And just mention that you'd like to participate in our uh, cataract lecture on Thursdays, okay. and we'd be happy to have you. And that you have those in all different locations. I know the Eye Associates has six different locations. We do. We have the lectures um, both at our Point West location uh, on Thursdays, and then we do have them at our Ellington location too. Uh, and I'm not sure actually when that is. Okay. So yeah, they can check out the website yes. or call. Yeah. So tell me a little <laughs> bit about you're doing some clinical studies at the Eye Associates about clear lens replacement, or what are the clinical? It's, it's not actually clear lens replacement. Okay. But they are special lenses that are in development, and okay. so we have have a number of different um, cataract related studies. We have studies for patients who have a lot of astigmatism mm -hmm. and are either elect to have or not have special astigmatism correcting lenses. We have a study that we're participating in for patients with macular degeneration who have cataracts and this is a really exciting study because it uses uh, some of that same technology to magnify the near vision in one eye for those patients to really give them more functional vision up close, let them write checks and things like that. Oh. And it's with technology that's very proven and safe and doesn't come with increased risks. So that we're, we're tremendously excited about. It seems like the technology is probably always changing. It really is. And it's so important for us to participate in some of these studies because we're able to offer to our patients really before they could get anything uh, commercially available some of the technologies that are up and coming and we're, we're selective about what studies we participate in so we want to make sure we feel like it's really a, of great benefit to our patients. Okay. So Garrett, um, before we, we go, we mentioned earlier you are about to graduate medical school. And congratulations on that by the Thank way. You. Yes, congratulations and now you'll be doing your residency back at UF, right. go, Gators. go Gators. I have to just get yes. that in there. No, go Gators. Go okay, Gators. Okay. I think we have a full panel of go Excellent. Gators. <laughs> so for people who may have missed it earlier, um, tell us you just went through LASIK about four weeks ago with Dr. McCabe. Life-changing. What would you tell people who are on the fence or thinking about it? It's an easy question, um, absolutely. Uh, if you're thinking about it, uh, don't think about it anymore. Um, 
the effects that I saw were just, they really were life changing. Um, I'm looking forward to it every day when I wake up. I, I'm afraid that I accidentally fell asleep in my contacts because I wake <laughs> up and it's perfect. Wow. No, no, wait, I had laser. <laughs> Are there any things that you can do now that you couldn't do before? Um, I mean, I think you know you talked about snorkeling. Right. Could you do that before? Not really, because the second that your mask got foggy and you had to clear it out, a wave hits you in the eye and you're done. As far as like your contacts you are go gone. With your contact lenses, right. yeah. Your contacts were gone. Yeah. So there's almost nothing that I can think of. And you went through the free screening beforehand, right. correct? Right. So yeah, we would definitely encourage everyone to come in and get a free screening. And um, they can do that by calling the 800 number yes. or going to the website. So we'll show you that just one more time before we say goodbye. You want to give uh, the Eye Associates a call at 1-866-865-2020 or go to their website, siteforlife.com and they can sign up for that free screening. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, both of you. Good thank luck you. to you. It's very wonderful thank being you. On, on air with you. Thank nice you. you Some great information. So check them out at the Eye Associates. Go online and or give them a call. Absolutely. Thank yeah, you. thank you. All right, that's it for us. Have a great night and catch us next week at 7 o'clock at the same time.